Hello, today in our piano lesson we're going to look at playing a piece with both hands. Our thumbs are both going to start on middle C, so we've still got our closed hand five finger position. One, two, three, four, five. And remember, that's how we refer to our thumb and fingers. One, two, three, four, five. So we start with one, that's our thumbs, both on middle C. If you look at the music, you'll see that the treble clef, the, in the first system, that's the right hand, is playing in the first bar. But if you look at the music for the left hand in the bass clef, there's nothing there except a little rectangle. That little rectangle hand, hanging off the line is a whole bar or four beat rest. Now it doesn't matter how many beats in a bar there are. We've got four, four. Remember the top number tells you how many and the bottom number tells you what. So it's four on top means there's four beats of some kind and four on the bottom. That's a code and four is the code for crotchets. So there are four crotchets in a bar. So here we've got this rectangle hanging off the roof. Imagine it like a light uh, in a room that's been switched off so the whole room is dark. OK, because later on we're going to find another rest that looks more like a shoebox sitting on the floor. And that's only two beats of emptiness. So to begin with, the left hand isn't playing anything. It still sits resting on the piano, ready to play. And let's have a look at the first system of the right hand. I'm going to say the letter names as I play. Let's have an empty bar to start. One, two, three, four. C, 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 D, E, D, C, E, D, D, C, two, three, four. C, 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 D, E, D, onto the second system. C, E, D, D, C, two, three, four. Let's stop there. So we've had a little melody twice, all in the right hand. The left hand is just sitting there waiting. Don't take your hand away from the piano because when you're ready to use it, you don't want to be going, oh, uh, what note should I be playing? Hang on, let me get my hand in position. No, no, no. Have it sitting there, ready to go. Let's play that again. And then let's see if we can go on to the next section where we do get the left hand playing. If you look at the second system, on the fourth bar, suddenly there's that rectangle rest hanging off the, the ceiling in the treble clef. That means a whole empty bar. So the right hand stops playing. But in the bass clef, here the left hand, we've got A, A. So we've written the number three above that. So we know that we're using one, two, three, our third finger to play the A two minims. A, A. And then the next bar, this is where that little shoebox rest comes in. Can you see that the right hand is playing D, C, while the left hand is doing nothing for two beats? So there's a two crotchet rest. And that looks like a little empty shoebox sitting on the floor. So a shoebox can only make the shoebox dark, but a light switch hanging off the ceiling makes the whole room dark. So that's how we're going to remember that the one hanging off the line is the whole bar rest and the one sitting on the line is only a two beat rest. OK, so back we are at that uh, bar, which is one, two, three, four, five, the fifth bar of the second system, the second pair of two groups of five lines at the stave. OK, we've got D, C and then the left hand takes over B, A, G, two, three, four. But it's important that it's actually one melodic line. So you need to make sure it all runs together like this. Two, three, four. You can tell that all sounds like one tune. And then we're back to the right hand having all the work. So in this piece of music, the left hand doesn't get a lot to do, but it's important. Let's have a go at playing the whole thing. Here we go. One, two, three, four. C, C, D, E, D, C, E, D, D, C, two, three, four. C, 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 D, E, two, D, two. C, E, D, D, C, two, three, four. D, 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 A. A. 
C, 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 D, E, to D, to C, E, D, D, C. Oh, I don't think I did that last night. No, right, did I? I didn't count it through. I just sort of left it on for a bit and took my hand off again. That's no good. Let's do the last two bars again and really count out that last note. C, E, D, D, C, two, three, four, off. There we go. Next time, we're going to see if we can add in some notes in the left hand while the right hand is playing the melody. A bit like this. Have a listen. So now we're really starting to play with hands together. Don't be freaked out if it's a bit tricky at first, because remember, we're not used to using both hands at the same time for something as complicated as this. You wouldn't try and write with two hands at the same time, would you? Maybe you would. I don't know. See you next time.